hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i am going to implement a smooth bow rotation when i my character is equipped with the bow i have implemented a smoother way to rotate the character while keeping the bow straight like this and i told you in the last episode i'm going to fix this with the aim offset but actually this is not an aim offset this is a much simpler method i have implemented and yeah i'll show you how to do this and i'm quite happy with the way this turns out all right let's get started and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me all right so this is where i stopped last time and i'm going to continue from that place actually i said i'm going to use a a an aim offset and study how to implement the aiming for properly but I think uh, there is an easier way so like this I have this animation with no additive actually this is the last part of the equip bow animation sorry uh, yeah equip no drawing bow uh, arrow animation so this is the last part of that and I am just there are only two frames and I am looping that so I am going to use this animation inside my animation blueprint like this I'll just drag and drop it here right and then I am going to use layered blend per bone and connect it like this and like this so this is whatever the output of my current animations and here for the blend weight I'm going to use the same thing so I'm using this alpha as one when my when I have equipped and draw in the bow so I'll use the same alpha value for this one as well so that I don't have to worry about that and then here I'm going to set up the bone to do this layer animation layered blending so for this bone I'm going to use this bone the spine one right and compile now if I break this and compile again just to preview you can see this is how it looks all right and so I'll connect this one again because I didn't I don't it don't want it like this at by default all right so now let's see when I equip bow yeah this happens and as you can see my character is aiming but it's not correct because yeah, when I press Alt, just like this, uh, my character equips the bow without any kind of animation whatsoever. That's because I am changing this value from 0 to 1 without any kind of a lurping. So therefore, instead of doing it like that, I'll do something like this. When I equip bow. I'm equipping my bow here. I 
yeah so when I set this bow equipped I'll show you where I use it you should remember if you follow my previous tutorials yeah I'm using it here in the player's tick here when the bow equipped is true I call yeah I call this function with the alpha 1 so that's the issue here so instead of setting bow equipped to true here I'll set it to true here because by this point I should have played that draw arrow montage well that was also too fast okay then I should set this value to true uncompleted let's see it seems that part is never played because yeah the issue is this is a looping animation so uncompleted would be never called I think that should be the issue here there is a loop part okay so let's see where the montage notify okay right here so what's the length of this animation 0.93 seconds right and the play rate is 3 okay so no play rate is 1 so what can I do is instead of this mm, I'll call this one with a delay of not point two point eight point nine and let's see how it looks now right now it is working right now I think we have to fix the other part because my upper body is not rotating as I want yeah that's because I have disconnected mm -mm. this part I'll connect it here I think this because uh, because of this D once node when this animation is played this part is so uh, this update never happens so that's why it should happen Yeah, I still not happy with this let me check right so maybe the issue is that here I set the rotation of the spline spine one and here I blend it 
with this animation so I think I should do this part after this blending is taken place so let me do it like this Okay, let's check. Right, now it works, but this... Yeah, but we have the problem of this jerky moment. Okay, we have one issue here. This one. I have to set X or roll to 90 and the pitch to this one. I forgot to connect that part. Well, I'm sorry. This is the method I should call. Not this one. This is actually set actor rotation. Sorry about that. I should call this one. I I'm really sorry. I saw it just like the same method. K X should be 90 and Yo is this one and pitch is this one. Alright, so let's see how it looks now. Okay, this is much better. My character looks exactly at the direction that I want it to look. And also the lower body rotation part is working as well. So yeah, it's not perfect but better, better than what it used to be. You can look at, look down. Right now let's work on further smoothing out this uh, rotation. You can see some kind of a, a snapping of locations here. Okay, let's work on that now. I think it would look much smoother. It would be much smooth if I... Uh, let me go to the place that where I set this value. It's here. Alright. Let's try instead of directly setting this value, let's uh, lerp it. We can use R interp. The current value, this, this must be the target value, and the current value is this one. And for the default value of this, I should use the values that I have used here. Rotation X must be 90. Well, I'm not sure this will work, but let's try. Did I set it? No. Let's see how it works now. Oh. 
okay now you saw at the first time there was a big difference I'll show it again okay let's look this way and play it again right it is fine but uh, for some cases it doesn't look fine for example let's uh, try it again from the beginning so see that he was starting from left side I'll show you it again that yeah that's the problem okay so maybe so yeah that happens because initially the rotation values of y and z are zero zero so that may be different from the rotation i should have in order to look at the direction that i'm looking at so yeah let's try let's lerp this one as well i think that would help get the value here and loop with this one with point 0.1 by the way I have used point 0.1 and 1 here let's see now Well, that's still not good enough. Ah, right. I forgot to connect this one. Maybe that's why I didn't see any difference. right that's much better i think okay let's try again yeah that's much smooth and i'm quite happy with that and it's still yeah the rotation is smooth now we can work with that all right and yeah that's all for today that's all i'm going to do for today and in the next episode let's work on uh, changing the camera perspective uh, so that the player would have a better view to aim and shoot at enemies and also we need to work on placing some arrow and put arrows on the quiver and draw in them and place in one on the hand and actually shoot in them so there are many things to do in this system uh, let's implement them one by one as always uh, if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club here link would be in the description below and see you in the next episode goodbye